My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Stardew Valley, where I've recently learned there are a bunch of things I've accidentally neglected that I am going to seek to fix today. Okay, so first of the first, let's quickly get rid of all of the crops that just didn't work out for us. And they're all dead. That's unfortunate. At least I now know how long a month actually is. 29 days and then it takes over, I'm assuming all seasons are the same. Secondly, let's get ourselves enough sap to deal with planting some new things. Because I do have these melon seeds and starfruit seeds, both of which were given to me by Gunther as rewards for bringing him a bunch of different minerals and things of the like. Artifacts as well. And they can only be planted in summer. And guess what it is right now? That's right. If you guessed winter, you're wrong because it's summer. I only need 20 sap because I need 10 fertilizer. Excellently done. Perfect. Let's go and chuck this up here. Da, da, da. And we'll get 10 sap. Sorry, 10 fertilizer built from sap, I should say. And then just place it super quickly. Right down to the final. Also, I've recently learned that there is an alt fire. If you hold down and charge up the copper watering can, which waters three spaces at the same time. And this is, of course, why you want the copper watering pan. Now, anything else that I really want to be doing here? Da, 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 no. Actually, no, there is a mushroom in there, which has reminded me we do have our cave up here, which I've neglected recently. Let's go quickly. Perfect. There is stuff here. Same power it had last time as well, so I wonder if it's always five common mushrooms in a single normal red mushroom. Hmm. Perhaps we will never know. Alright, let's drop these off. Uh, what? No, that stays with me. This goes there. Excellent. And then bare resources goes up in here. Excellent! Feeling a lot better about that one now. Now, what do I want to do? There's a few things. Let's look at our journal. We've got delivery of a liner, sorry, a liner, a Nuka Cola, a Joja Cola. God damn, how many different games do I have to cycle through before I get back to Stardew Valley? We've got delivery of a Joja Cola to Linus. I do want to make him happy. Reach the bottom of the mine. Investigate the community center. This is something that I'm going to have to fix and talk about while I'm trying to fix it and build a coop. I'm not actually a animal husbandry expert, so I don't know if I want to even pursue that at all. But I might just have to build it to get it out of my quest log. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. We'll chuck these back in here. Now, the first thing... Hang on. Do I want to spend my day mining? Fishing. Of course. It's fishing. Because I want to get the Joja Cola. Yeah, it's got to be a fishing day. And that's also going to buy me the freedom to move down to the bottom of the map so that I can do some more foraging whilst I can. Especially over in that area that can give you uh, the... What are they called again? Corals and sea urchins. Also got two sweet peas already. Very nice. I'm assuming these are just flowers. Let's hold out the fishing rod. Actually, let's try and hold out nothing, because if I accidentally fire the fishing rod, I'm going to be wasting a lot of energy. I should see what crops Pierre has for sale as well, because I ought to get a crop started. Tomato, they continue to produce after the first harvest, and so do blueberries. So if I planted blueber uh, blueberries today, they would mature by the 14th. Then the 27th, I'd get... Ah. Oh. So for both tomatoes and blueberries, if I ever want to plant them... Oh god, pepper seeds also have the same thing. Pepper seeds are going to have a 
bunch of continual harvests. So I think I want a lot of pepper seeds. They produce a bright red flower, a hop starter, grows on a trellis. Okay. I think I need to focus on, like, tomato, blueberry, and pepper, the ones that are going to be giving consistent, constant stuff. I think pepper is very important. How about I get 20 pepper? So 20 pepper would be 800. I can cost 800. And then if I got 20 blueberries as well, that would be 1600 plus 800. Total of 2400. I can afford that right now. And then we can worry about tomato seeds later. Because tomato seeds I'm only ever going to be able to get two harvests of. So I may as well plant them anywhere between now and the 9th. No, anywhere between now and the 7th is a good time to be planting those. Whereas I've got a much shorter window for this, and if I want to get the majority out of this, I just want to plant it as soon as possible. So I get 20 of each. Put that there. And put that there. In fact, I could actually get a lot more peppers. Hang on, do I want to get like a hop starter? I could get a total of 10 of these. Yeah, right. Okay, that's what we want to be doing at the end of the day. Finishing, setting up all of these so that they can continue growing. But the first thing that I want to do is going to be visit the community center. And it's not because I've suddenly had a change of hearts and I'm really interested in my local community and just the ethos of the area in which I live. No, it's because apparently, although I could have swore I did, Apparently, I didn't read this. I need to read this, like, look at it, and just, okay, ooh, look at that. Uh, it makes no sense. Ooh. And then I need to leave in order to trigger something occurring. So I... Uh, I could have sworn I read that. If I didn't read that, then my apologies. I... That's my bad. I totally could have sworn I did. Ah, uh, well... Let's go do a little bit of fishing and see if we can pick up a Joja Cola as trash. Way down here. Oh, it's Lee. I should talk to you today. Hello, Lee. You can tell it's summer by the sweet smell of nectar wafting through the air. You sure can, Lee. Thank you very much for that entirely unsolicited piece of advice. Elliot, what do you think? A gentle little sunbeam woke me up this morning. I've never felt more refreshed. <laughs> Ugh. I don't like that guy. Are you Shane? No, Alex. Hey, summer's definitely the best time of year. Rainbow shell, interesting. That's got to sell for a decent amount. I'm going to get such a nice tan this summer. Let's quickly go over here and do some looting as well, especially if we're going to be going past someone who might accept the sale of such loot. Coral is less valuable than sea urchins, so I'm really hoping to see some urchins about. No, no urchins. All right then, let's do a little bit of fishing. Oh, okay, I've actually found bubbles. If you fish where the bubbles are, you get a bite way more quickly, apparently. Or maybe you get different types of bite. We'll see. Getting a very lively fish right here. Okay. Ah, oh, red mullet of 17 inch length. Oh, you get an instant bite if you do that. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Right, I didn't, I didn't realize that the first Wobble was actually a bite. Tuna. Nope. Let's throw on that. There we go. Okay, so you do get a bite instantly. Yeah. What the fuck was that? It had a different little fishy icon as well. This is what I want, just to be pulling, uh, pulling up trash, like, immediately, though. 
So what have I learned about these fish so far? I've really got to be hitting the ground running if I want to catch them. Or at the very least to make it easier on myself. Tilapia! I know how to pronounce that! Oh, I've overfished the spot it looks like. And perfect. Yeah, it definitely looks like I've overfished the spot. The bubbles are gone. I wonder if I can go find bubbles elsewhere now. I mean, I imagine she's probably hanging out with Blossom and Buttercup. Were that their names? Blossom, Buttercup, and Bubbles? I think it was. I want to be just like my big brother when I grow up. I don't know who your big brother is, so... I'm so sorry. Or I'm delighted for you, depending on what the case might be. Last time I found Jojo Callers, I was standing here, to be fair. Let's give it a go. Interesting. Yeah, but the last, the last time I was trying to catch a fish, it had a little hat. It looked like it was wearing a little bit of a fez. The one that I missed, that is, specifically. Not the ones that I've got. Also, it had a treasure that I didn't manage. Damn. Okay, a longer red mullet. What is this? Oh, it's the shadow of a cloud. That's so cool. I was looking at it and I was like, if I fish there, am I going to catch Kyogre? But no, it's the shadow of a cloud. That's so cool. I wouldn't have imagined this would be in the game. It's a little aspect of polish and detail that I just don't typically expect. Not just out of indie games, but I don't typically expect that out of triple A's. Excuse me? Gardening is a hobby of... It's 4pm. Get back in your fucking shop until 5pm, buddy. What? It's not your shop. Oh, right, Lewis! This is Lewis, of course. Bamboo pole, fiberglass rod. I have the fiberglass rod. Uh, give you a tilapia and both a coral, rainbow shell, both the clams. Yeah, I didn't really manage to get what I was looking for. But I still haven't caught what I'm looking for. There's one very important thing I need to do. And I feel bad about it, but I do need to do it. Where is Joja Mark? It's up here, right? Past the blacksmith. God, if it closes at five, I'm going to be a salty sailor. Willy won't be able to handle me. Hello, Joja Mart. I want a Joja Cola, please. They cost 75! What? God, I hope that doesn't ruin my game. That's the reason I was so... Uh... Oh, they do end at 5. Interesting, that's good to know. But that's the reason I was so apprehensive about doing this earlier in order to finish the Linus quest. Because I didn't want anyone to look at me and go, Hey, you went to Joja Call, you're a bad person on the inside. Not viewers, I mean people in the town. Viewers are already aware I'm a bad person. Just on the inside. Hey Robin, what up? You can make a lot of things out of wood. You would say that, wouldn't you Robin? Carpenter trying to drum up business. Oh look, there's some grapes to forage as well. Nice little bit of quality in him. Also, let's go talk to Linus and give him his tasty little Nuka Cola. Joja Cola. There you are. Oh, you brought me the item I asked for. I really appreciate it. Let's see. Here's what I owe you. Uh, it'll be in here. Yep. I just made him happy. That's all I wanted to do. Now, at the end of this day, all I need to do is plant 40 seeds, which means that I need to hoe 40... I've made a horrible mistake. Anyone want to tell me what it is? You there in the back! 
You haven't got a hoe. You gave it to the blacksmith. Yes, it's that. It's 100% that. I do not have a hoe available at the moment. I gave it to the blacksmith. I'm dumb. Evidently. Very, very dumb. We'll try and get that back from him tomorrow. I guess I'll take my frozen geodes over to him tomorrow. Let him acknowledge those. That's not far enough. I want to throw it into the middle. I just don't want to throw it way close to the shore. Come on. Give us a little nibble. Little nib nib. That's kind of the golden area. For me, at least. Excellent. I'm mostly looking for fish giving me treasure. I'll be honest. It's kind of where my heart's at at the moment. This is a very, very active fish. If I catch this, I'm going to be, first off, very pleased with myself. And secondly, quite annoyed if it isn't an amazing fish. I don't know how much a pike is worth. I also don't know if I'll ever be able to find out. This one's not even half as active. This has got to be like a halibut, right? Or maybe they're only a spring fish. No, it's brim. Interesting. Alright, I think the last time I caught a brim I was using a bamboo rod, so it would have been more difficult to catch. Mm hmm a little bit of green algae, that's fine. I'll keep it about. I'll even keep about a bit of the seaweed. Who knows when someone is going to ask me for seaweed. Okay, this is another... Whatever the first one is that I got. Pike. In general, I seem to be going up. This is good. Perfect. Yep, 28-inch pike. I wonder... I don't seem to be getting many different fish at nighttime in this area than I got in the daytime. Maybe nighttime hasn't triggered yet. Maybe nighttime triggers at 9, 9.30, something like that. We'll see. Damn it. I thought I heard the sound. There we go. This ought to be a brim, right? Yeah. That's not what I wanted to do. 28. So I can cast out the rod four more times. Let's see if I can find a better spot. See, this is going to keep me away from all edges because I'm throwing directly up into the center of the river. This is good. Oh, God. Don't you dare. I'm trying to get away from me. Sneaky little fishy. Oh god, you, yeah. You 100% made it away from me. And that is the last line that we can cast. Last cast. Oh, yeah, great, it's a boring brim. Please be a gold brim or something. I did catch you perfectly. I don't even know if that's gold. We'll see when we go back and try and sell it. I believe I already have brim stocked, so... I ought not need to hold on to it. I like the little... Fireflies at night. That's super interesting. Just a nice little touch as far as I'm concerned. We've got a lot of these that I'm going to want to save, and a lot of these that I'm going to want to use agriculturally tomorrow. So, agricultural use. That's here, right? Uh, da -da -da. Well, let's deal with this first. Okay. I've saved one of everything. I have saved one seaweed in here, but I haven't saved a green algae. I definitely haven't saved a grape. I haven't saved a red mullet, nor a tuna... Nor a brim, apparently, and they're all shitty brim as well. Bunch of different types of fish. You can also have this. Excellent. The rest of these can be sold, except for, of course, the seeds, which are going to be used agriculturally tomorrow. 
Yeah, I really want the money from selling these, actually. So we're going to be doing so. Let's quickly chuck this one away. We definitely are going to need this. That's about it, though, right? I should also watch the TV and see what the weather is going to be like tomorrow. Uh, da, da, da. Let's have these all sold. Basically just so I can buy some more of a certain kind of plant if I'd like to tomorrow. Weather report, it is going to be clear and sunny all day. Fortune teller says they're somewhat annoyed, but luck won't be on our side. Living off the land is telling me summer's here with a whole slew of new crops to plant. Take hops, for example. They vines take a while to grow, but once they mature, they can be harvested every day. What? Hops? Huh? Hmm? Excuse me? What? That's something I'm going to be wanting to do. All right, let's, uh, let's go to sleep. I did not know that hops would be able to be harvested every goddamn day. That is something that I want to get on very early in a big way. That 710 ought to help me a little along that track. Okay. Let's read this. My sources tell you being, uh, tell me you've been poking around all inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I have information concerning your rat problem. M. Rasmodius, the wizard. That's a message I've been waiting for. Good to finally have it. Okay, let's deal with our crops first because I'm going to need to do all of my purchases and then go to the blacksmith. Shit, the blacksmith is only going to be open at 9, so this is also only going to be open at 9. Fuck. Uh, da, 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 da. She's looking for an amethyst. I'm pretty certain I have an amethyst saved. Amethyst, amethyst. Amethyst is... Da, 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 da. It is the purple one, is it not? What? Fish. Artifacts. There we go. No, minerals. Da, da, da. Yes! I've got a bunch of those. I'll give her one for 300. That's nice. I'm like a rather expensive gigolo. I'll give her one for 300. Okay. I wonder if Rasmodius is going to be open yet. That's... Ooh, spice spray. Interesting. So we do need to find Rasmodius. I happen to know that he is west of this valley. So that ought to mean you're over here, right? Yep, that sounds like a tower to me. And by sounds like, I mean looks like. You don't know, I might be a synesthesia kind of person. I'm not. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's something we've been waiting for for a while. Ah, come in! Hang on, wizardy voice. Wizardy voice, wizardy voice. <clears throat> I'm Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Meteor between the physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elements, keeper of the sacred. You get the point. Alright, that's not, that's not wizard. Hang on, where are we gonna go with this? I need, like, source material. And you, Rhapsody, the one whose arrival I've long foreseen. That became Don Pardo very quickly. And Rhapsody, musical guest, a spoon being played against a wall. Here, I'd like to show you something. The first one became Dr. Phil really quickly. Behold. No, oh, God. It's a rat. Is he going to explode? Now, now, you've seen one before, haven't you? Look, this guy is just going to be rotating different bad impersonations of American stars. So I'm going to be going with Dr. Phil Hua. They, they call themselves the Juminos, okay? Mysterious spirits. These ones, uh, for some reason, they, uh, refuse to speak with me. That's a bad Patrick Warburton right there. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but, uh, you've no reason to fear them. What am I asking for? Oh, I was asking about the tablet. Hmm, you found a golden scroll. 
written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Walk in, of course. No, no. Now stay here. I'm gonna investigate for myself. I will return shortly. I don't know who that one was supposed to be. I think that's an impersonation of impersonation that I heard once. That guy fucking teleported out. Can we talk about that for a second? That guy actually just straight up teleported the fuck away and then walked back in through the door. Now, now, I found the note. The language is obscure, but uh, I was able to decipher it. We are the Jumino. We are happy to aid you. In return, we ask the gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of the scroll. Okay. This guy's having an ellipsis over his cauldron. Hmm. One with the forest. What do they mean? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. You have to be a tree! Come here. Oh, this is really seeming a little sketchy. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel... Caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Now, this is an impersonation of someone I like to call Ryan. It's me. Oh, God. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna be sick. Or I'm just gonna trip out. Nice. Yep. Yeah, my character is having a wild trip. That's okay. My understanding is this here is how you become one with the forest. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning behind Jumino scrolls. Excellent. Let's go decipher some true meaning behind a Jumino scroll. Oh, fuck. There's a thing what I forgot to do. Hang on. If I... If I plan my route correctly, I can swing by home and pick up the geodes before I have to go visit the blacksmith. So we'll go north from here. Okay. Up in here. Up in here. Sorry. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. If I can't actually get through here, never mind. We're fine. They're growing nicely. Ish. Nice lish. Da -da -da -da. We'll take both of these. I'm almost certain I need nothing else. Well, I'm gonna feel bad if I do need something else. A community center up and blacksmith across. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to lump it. There's no nice little path that connects them. Not that I'm aware of, at least. Okay. Let's go read the Juvino scroll. Although I've already been told what it says. Oh. Never mind. Summer foraging bundle. I don't have a grape on me, but I ought to get that because the reward is bridge repair. Apparently. Uh, winter foraging bundle, obviously I'm not going to be able to do. Can I not just like... Oh no, I can step back out. Perfect. Spring foraging bundle. Okay, okay. I hope I saved one of each of those. I'm pretty... I have one of these. I have one of these. I don't know about dandelion and daffodil. I will feel bad if I don't. Exotic foraging bundle. Now, I do have a cave carrot saved. Pine tar, oak resin. I have a red mushroom as well. I've only got two for that. Uh, construction bundle. Okay, reasonable. I can get those really easily. In fact, I might already have them. And fall foraging bundle. I already have a common mushroom, but the others I do not. Okay. Let's go... Out to the lobby. Let's go out to the lobby. Let's go talk to Robin, actually. If you need any buildings on your farm upgraded, just ask me. Alright. 
upgrade him. You said all I'd have to do is ask you. If you ask me to pay you as well, honestly, you're just overstepping your bounds at that point. I need to find a grape. Honestly, if I could find one, just one, that would be great. Yep, that's the level of joke told on this channel. Enjoy. Alright, what? Give me a back. Boom, there's my copper hoe. And also, I got my tool back. Ho ho! Alright, process some geodes. Break them open, buddy. Okay. And, ooh, that's a nice one. Ooh, damn, iron ore. Very important to me. Fairy stone and a little bit of clay, whatever. Okay, anything that Gunter does not want, I will sell immediately to the blacksmith, and then I can go past Pierre's, pick up for hops. Hops is what I want from him. Donate to museum. I think he only wants, yeah. Oh, but I do get a new reward. Please be put seeds that I can plant. Because this would be the right time for them. Uh, a knight on Eco Hill can be placed inside your house. Well, fuck you too, buddy. Evelyn also wants an amethyst. We'll see. We'll see, Evelyn. Oh, God, they don't even sell well. But what if I need one of these? Oh! All right, look. I'm not really going to get that much out of it. Hops. Hops. How do much hops... How do much hops cops? No. How much do hops cost? There we go. Now, that's an actual full, complete sentence that an adult might say. The other way that I was saying it was very much more, let's say, Dr. Seuss if he had a stroke. <sighs> Pierre, we got some dealings to do. That's not Evelyn, that's Abigail. Abigail? Yes, the air is so thick with honey and nectar, all summer I almost feel dizzy. Okay, hops, 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 hops. Oh shit, it's these! They grow every day. I can get 24. 24 is... Oh, 6 by 4, shit. Oh, but it's also 8 by 3. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. See, the thing is, I want to make things in rows of 3 so that I can water them very fucking quickly. Okay. I wonder what the hoe does now. Like, if I charge it up, does it hoe out three spaces at the same time? Yep. Yeah, it does. Well, interesting. Okay, well, we're just going to be doing a lot of hoeing today. As opposed to any other day, Ryan? Question mark? <laughs> Shut up, you smarmy bastard. It's going to be exactly like every other day, and you know it. Okay. This is where my hops are going to be, because of course it is. Can I, like, disengage? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need a lot more sap, so we're also going to need to do some farming. And by farming, of course, I mean cutting down trees. Basically the same thing. If you just ignore everything. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. So this is now 34. 34 is a little less nice. That's 11 plus 1 in multiples of 3. Hmm. If I got 2 more, I'd feel a lot better. Sad I didn't have the money for it. Okay. Let's go and... Fight the good fight against these, excuse me, trees. Gonna need to cut down a lot of trees as well. Not particularly pleased with this, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna leave all of the baby trees growing if I can. Because they're actually going to be really important. I need to make sure that I have an up-and-coming supply of wood for when I'm actually deciding to upgrade my house in any significant or meaningful ways. 
rather than just get rid of them right now. Okay, so I have pine cone. I have maple seeds. What is the other thing I need? Pine cone, maple seed, and... There was a third ingredient in making field snacks. Pine cone, maple seed... Is it fiber? There's no chance it's fiber, right? Pine cone, maple... Ah, acorn. Excellent. I can make a field snack right now, then. Boom. So, have a field snack. Yum. Excellent. 45 energy is going to help keep me going for a while. So that we can get all of the sap that we require. I need at least 64. No, 68 to begin with. Okay. Just checking exactly how much I had. But I definitely do need that initial 68. And then we can move from there. Okay. Perfect. Pick it up just in case there is some sort of drop timer. Looks like I'm getting six sap per tree. Which means I should have... Yep. Just about enough now. Because there's... Eight still up here, if I recall correctly. Uh, da -da. No, 22. Damn, a lot more than I thought. Okay, deposit all of these. Excellent. Now we will go into crafting and get a bunch of basic fertilizer. And fertilize as much as we can. So this is a row of six. Hang on, if it grows on a trellis, I won't be able to walk through the field. So the ones on the center, I'm not going to be able to take. This is of grave concern. I'm going to need to build them more like this then. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to walk through that. So I'm going to need two-sided can still water them from the center, uh, sorry, from the outside, it's like four different watering positions makes it fine. But I am going to need a pickaxe to fix some of the problems that I've created right now. Let's take it. And we'll start tearing up the land that I hoed out. Hey, at the very least, that makes everything a little nicer, because it means I can't even put anything next to the ancient tree sap if I wanted to. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. We've got to start getting these watered before nighttime falls. Otherwise, I'm not going to remember... What needs watering? Okay, perfect. I can water these from here, despite the position of the scarecrow. Hang on. Let's see if I can pick up a torch and give myself some light around the area. God, I really ought to organize this. Torch goes up here. That goes down. Perfect. Now everything useful is here. Okay, now I can get 10 more down. 10 more, 10 more. Where do I want to put 10 more? There's no really elegant way to do this, unfortunately. Not that I can see, at least. Alright. It's just, uh... Make a series of 10 down here. Perfect. Get all of this planted. And drop the trellises down. Now, 
Now, the next most important thing to drop in the ground is going to be... What? The... It's not the hops. It's... Hang on. Actually, that needs to go there. Perfect. Uh, it's going to be the peppers. So we need 20 spaces for peppers. So 20 is what? Oh, God. Another really, really bad amount. I should have been thinking in multiples of three, whereas I was, I was thinking just metric. That's oh, stupid. Did I not farm these? Sorry, farm these. Uh, did I not water these yet? Oh, God. I'm going to have to leave them for another day. Yep, I'm going to have to leave this for another day. God damn it. Well, at the very least, we're going to get these in time, hopefully. Let's rest, sleep for the night. Some weird sound has occurred. Is it because I left my... There was an earthquake during the night. Never mind. I thought it was because I left this on that I had, like, a house fire and I was going to wake up destitute and homeless. But, actually, it looks like we are completely fine. What is this? Dear Rhapsody, this is embarrassing, but I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you now because I trust you. If you can find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. Mayor Lewis, those are definitely not shorts. What you're telling me when you're saying discreetly is that these are some kind of a sexual tool for you. I'm thinking that you're wearing women's underwear. Is this a, is this a lingerie kind of thing? It's okay, I don't judge. We, can we get any more information from the quest? Mares. Yeah, shorts in inverted commas. This is definitely something like that. Okay, Evelyn wants an amethyst, which I'm still pretty sure that I have. Let's just quickly check over here. Yep, we have an amethyst. We'll put that in our inventory so we can go find her and give it to her. Wink. Let's just drop off anything that we're not currently using. And then we can end the episode saying something along the lines of My name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Stardew Valley. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself as we've been setting ourselves up for summer. And hopefully we'll see you next time.